Hey guys, what's up? It's Nambush here with another Apex Legends video, and today I'll be showing you my top 10 favorite weapon combos in Apex Legends. I really hope you enjoy, and let's get right into it. Combo number one is the R301 with the Mastiff. Now, both these weapons individually are very strong, but together, they're just that much better. The R301 can really own mid and close range, and the Mastiff is just insane in close quarters or in tight situations, which is why that when they're together, they're a very strong combo and should definitely not be overlooked. Next combo is the Flatline with the EVA 8. I really love this combo because these two weapons both have a really high DPS and are very powerful, so when you put them together, you can just put out so much damage so quickly. And kind of like the R3 one in the Mastiff, you can really master mid-range and close-range. And with these two very powerful weapons on your side, you'll win majority of the gunfights you come to. You just gotta back it up with a little bit of skill. Combo number three has to be one of my personal favorites, and that is the G7 Scout with the Mastiff. Now, these two weapons both provide very heavy hits. The G7 Scout can deal so much damage from mid-range, and the Mastiff can just absolutely obliterate anyone that comes close to you and your team. Combo number four is the Hemlock with the Peacekeeper. I chose these two weapons together because the Hemlock doesn't have a great hit fire spread. It can completely own people from mid-range, but when the person gets up in your face, it's really difficult to hit shots with it. So that's why I also paired it with the Peacekeeper, so you can also completely own close range. Combo number five is the R99 with the Wingman. Now this combo really requires accuracy and just in general good aim because the wingman has such precise shots so you really need to be hitting your target and the R9 really empties out its mags so quickly that you really need to be tracking the enemy perfectly so that you make every bullet count. That's why if you're new to the game I really don't recommend this combo because it can take a little while to get the hang of but if you do it is absolutely devastating. Combo number six is the Havoc with the Peacekeeper. The reason I paired these two weapons together is because the Havoc has such a rough recoil and it really kicks back. So if you're just finding it too hard to control, which because it does take a lot of practice, then you can pull up the Peacekeeper and use the Choke because it can go quite a range. Combo number seven is the R301 and the R99, or as some people call it, R400. Now, these two weapons together are amazing because the R301, again, it can really master mid-range and the R9 is amazing for up close. So together, they're just really powerful and they both use a lot of light ammo, but since they use the same ammo type, you can really carry a lot of it on you. Combo number 8 is the Volt with the Sentinel. I love these two weapons together because the Volt is such a powerful gun, it has a great DPS and a decently sized mag, and it can really own close range or mid range depending on how you want to use it. And the Sentinel will really just destroy anyone at mid to far range for you, and if you put a 2 or 3 times scope on it, you can also use it when you're kind of in a tight situation. You just have to be careful that you're not ADSing when someone's right in front of you. Combo number 9 is the R301 with the Bowcheck Bow. These weapons work really well together because the Bowcheck can really cover far range or mid range, and also close range if you get the Shadow Caps hop up, it basically becomes a shotgun. And the R301 is also amazing for mid to close range because if someone is up in your face, you can hip fire. The R301 doesn't have the best hip fire spread in the game, but it will get the job done. Our 10th and final weapon combo is the Volt with the Charge Rifle. Now, some people don't think that the charge rifle is a good gun, but in my opinion, you just need to pair it with the right other weapon. If you have a charge rifle just by itself, you're not going to do great because it's really difficult to hit heavy shots when you're up close because the enemies are so close you can't hit the entire beam. But if you pair it with the Volt, the close range will be covered, and you can use the charge rifle to really pick at enemies from a far range, and it's very effective in that sense. Now we'll get into what weapons complement which legends. First up we have Gibby, and I'm sorry I didn't get any content for this, I was just really trying to push this video out quickly. So basically with Gibby, you just, you're gonna need a shotgun of some kind. With all the bubble fights that will go on in your game, you're gonna need a PK, EVA 8, Massive, anything like that. Just so that you can peek in and out of your bubble and really own it in the close range. You may also want to carry a sniper, just because of your arm shield, it's really easy to poke people with them and get extra damage. 
Next up, we have Rampart. Now, Rampart pairs well with any LMG in the game, just because of her passive, which we all know. You get a bigger mag for LMGs, and you can reload them faster. So, whenever you're playing Rampart, just consider picking up an LMG if you think that you would like to play with it, because it will really give you an advantage, and try not to spit fire spam too often. Our third and final legend we'll be talking about is Octane. Octane basically pairs well with any weapon that's close range and fast. He really uses shotguns well because you can get up in people's faces really quickly, and fast weapons such as the R9. Not often will you see an Octane carrying a sniper. You can do that, it's just I recommend something you can really get into people's faces with because Octane works so much better up close and personal. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll catch you next time. See ya!